Hello Stampers, welcome to another Rubber Redneck video tutorial. I'm going to be demonstrating how to make this fun candy holder for Halloween. It uses the stamp set called Toxic Treats. This is the front view of it and then here is, so you can see down in the at the top there where the candy goes. And then here's the side. This is a fun and very easy little treat holder to make and you can change it out for any time of the year. You want to cut one piece of Tangerine Tango cardstock at three and a half by eight and a half inches. Place it onto the Simply Scored horizontally and score it at three inches and then at three and a half inches. Once you have those two lines scored, then you want to run the Tangerine Tango cardstock through the Big Shot with the finishing touches edgelets. And what I did was I just measured down a quarter of an inch, made a little mark, and then lined up the edgelet die cut to die cut out the, the one edge of the Tangerine Tango cardstock. Now this will be the top once your little holder is complete. Then you want to fold on the scored lines and then you're going to decorate this before you assemble it. Now you want to decorate the piece that is the short piece. You want to cut one piece of basic black cardstock and you want to cut that at two and a three two and three quarters by three and a quarter. Run it through the big shot with the chevron background embossing folder to give it this fun embossed, dry, dried embossed look to your cardstock. Then you're just gonna put some glue onto the basic black cardstock. And then you wanna attach it to the tangerine tango cardstock. And remember you want to attach it where the shorter part of the Tangerine Tango cardstock is. Then you want to cut one piece of Summer Smooch's Designer Series paper and you want the Rich Razzleberry. Cut that at two and a half inches by two and a half inches. Then you're going to glue that right onto the basic black cardstock. And you want to glue that so it is on the left hand side of the basic black cardstock. Then cut another piece of Summer Smooch's Designer Series paper in the Lucky Limeade pattern and you want to cut that at three quarters of an inch by three and a half. So cut it at three quarter inch by three and a half. Then you're going to apply some glue onto the back of the designer paper and then you want to attach that going across the bottom of all the paper. Line up the edges of the designer paper with the edges of the Tangerine Tango cardstock. Then you want to cut one piece of Whisper White cardstock and you want to cut that at two inches by two and a quarter. Then take the stamp from Toxic Treats, ink it in Jet Black Stays On and stamp onto the Whisper White cardstock. Then you're going to apply some glue to the back. And you would want to place this then on top of that Summer Smooch's designer paper, overlapping a little onto the basic black cardstock. Then you want to cut another piece of Whisper White cardstock and you want to cut that at a half an inch by three inches. Take the stamp from Toxic Treats, ink it in Tangerine Tango and stamp it onto the Whisper White cardstock. Then you're going to glue this little trick or treat across the bottom of all the layers here and over onto your image. So now you have the front completely decorated and what you want to do is take the 1 16th handheld punch, fold, fold up the little candy holder, pinch the top down so they're even with the edges, and then take your handheld punch and punch a hole through all the layers. And you just want to go in a little ways, don't go in too far. And then you want to repeat that step to the other side. So then just line it up so it looks even. And you can measure if you want, if you want to get it exact, or you can simply just eyeball it and get it as close as you possibly can. Then once you have those holes punched, 
You then want to take some Lucky Limeade Baker's Twine, and I recommend using the ba the paper piercing tool since it is such a little hole that you're going to be putting the Baker's Twine through, and you're going to want to have a little patience while you work that twine through those holes. And once you have it started, then you can just pull that twine, baker's twine, right through there. Then once you have the baker's twine through there, all I did was I just tied a little bow off to the side. just to add a little more fun detail to the little candy holder. And then you would repeat that step to the other side of the Tangerine Tango cardstock here. You would just put that Baker's Twine right through the, that little hole over there so that you would have two of these little bows on the sides. Then at the top, what you want to do once you have the twine through there, then take your large oval punch and you're just going to punch a hole for like a little handle and just line, just try to center it with the sides here and the punch and then punch out your little handle so then it'll look like this and then you want to take two jewels basic rhinestones and you want to take the larger rhinestones and place one on each side of the hole that you punched out for the handle. And then you're ready to put your candy right down inside that little pocket that you created. And then that completes the tutorial for the Toxic Treats candy holder. Thank you for watching.